but he's working on the wiki updates and uh, I'm sure he, and you guys saw in our Telegram chat, he paste, posted some uh, some content for review. Uh, so that can always go on there. And maybe just because we have Luke here, uh, I have another intention, I guess, uh, which is to uh, finalize this idea or like see if we can finalize this idea of breaking the gardens template into two separate uh, templates for discussion purposes, the honey template and the commons template and any other, f oh, well, I'll let Chewy uh, give intentions distractions in case he's missing anything. Hey, Chewy, intentions or distractions for the call? Uh, um, no, just uh, intentions. I, I just wanted to check in with you guys uh, about the, the forum post. And uh, uh, well, pretty much, uh, I think pretty much is ready. Uh, I was just waiting for looks uh, feedback on it, but, uh, other than that, um, yeah, it's just what I'm waiting for. Okay, perfect. Uh, well then maybe I can just pass it to Luke. Uh, I sent you some DMS and, uh, they have, I'm sure that your DM box is just a, a one crowded mess, but, uh, what do you think about this idea, uh, that we've been floating for a while of like really just, breaking up based on issuance models for the template? Uh, I think it makes sense to to kind of have the two flavors or like um, make that distinction um, because they're, they're definitely like, they they have the commonalities in terms of conviction voting and um, and some, some of the structure, but the issuance model makes a big difference. And naming it the honey template, is that okay? Uh, I think it's fine. I, I don't know. I think it, it's one of those things that could end up leading to even more confusion if we're using it for other tokens down the line, kind of the same same issue. We, uh, but I, I think the commons template makes sense. Um, and maybe we do like, uh, I don't know. We could use honey for now. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, because I don't, I don't know a better name. <laughs> um, well, if you think of something, just tell Chewy, okay? Uh, because the it's sort of it's a small blocker for uh, us updating some of the Gardens Wiki, and then uh, if there's any content in that Google Doc that I sent uh, that you disagree with or that you wish there were more or something along those lines, you could definitely um, post it and then choose Hot to Trot to update the Wiki in various places. Cool, yeah, I'll take a look today for sure. Um, I might be able to take a look while on this call, but I'm trying to wrap something else up. Nice, thanks, Luke. There, there is something that uh, I was doing independently of the garden swarm. I um, was working with the, and, and Luke were um, talking with the people from Whaler Dao. Um, they uh, have been issuing a token that is called Tree. And, and the idea is that they uh, will be having a, a conviction voting DAO that can people can vote with, with three. It has been um, there for months now. And I got stuck at some point and And because of the different... Um, work that we had in, in Garden Swarm, it's it's there stuck and I, I don't know if that is still something that, I, I think that the communication uh, had cut at, at some point and, and maybe they are not that interested anymore or I'm not sure, but I think that uh, now that we have you here, that, that is irrelevant for the current discussion that we can have um, the common template, we can have the com the honey template with, with issuance. We can also can have this rapid token template. Um, it's 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 something that we are we are um, working with. And we could have it in, into account. Um, is is something that you you have talked with the people from Weller Dao recently? 
Um, I haven't talked to them recently. I um, haven't really been following it, that Discord because I dropped down my like list of recent Discords, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately. But uh, uh, I can check back in. Um, I think we definitely want to be able to allow people to bring ERC20 tokens in uh, as templates because that seems to be like one of the easiest ways for people to come in and, and use conviction voting is to just be like, we have a token, we're going to throw... Uh, throw some tokens in the common pool and people can stake to, to participate in conviction voting. I think that's probably like the lowest barrier to entry for people. Um, we had been sort of thinking about doing that using the marketplace app, um, but it might be a lot simpler if we just like make a staking app or something <laughs> um, and, and use that instead. But um, in some way it's, it's almost done, but it was not working. <laughs> I, I will. I will need some help on, with that. Um, okay. I I was going to 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 ask Gabby now, but I mean every, everybody is is with work that is already. I don't know. Yeah, everybody gets busy. Yeah, uh, this might go along with uh, a, more of a long-term structuring plan, but I would, you know, I also am excited about Giveth using this uh, template, the Garden, the One Hive template. So uh, we'll have to see how we want to evolve the Garden Swarms management of this of these processes, because it's like, okay, there's the Commons template, the Honey template. Uh, there's different projects that have different desires and, and want different solutions. So this will be uh, something maybe we can have a think about. And also like working closer with you, Luke, about uh, some of the uh, some of the like details around how do you want us to help support? You know, do you want us to focus on the Commons template uh, and and just stay structured there? Do we want to expand and and take in other use cases? as the garden swarm, um, you know, I think these are open questions. I don't know if we want to discuss them here, but. Sorry, Luke, you unmuted, you can say. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, I, I don't really have a um, comment on that other than to say that um, it's less about sort of what I want you guys to do and more about what you guys want to do. Um, I think there's sort of like the, the potential for like a, a name collision around gardens. And if we like change that to like uh, multiple flavors, um, but it's still called the garden swarm, then it's going to be, but it's focused on just one template and it's um, kind of confusing. Um, but like from like the people doing work and, and uh, doing things, it's really people want to do and where they want to focus. So. Um, I don't, like we can discuss it now, but I don't really know that I'm going to add too much to that conversation. I, I think that we are working in, in one flavor because we are focusing on, on that, but the, the idea is to, I, I working into the conviction voting side than in continuing with the bonding curve. So in some way, I, I would um, say that we, we are still doing um, something that is uh, more than more like the whole gardens, not just the commons template. But it, it's true that yeah, maybe there are some things that we are not experts. I mean, I still don't understand fully Celeste, and I will need some help from the Celeste Swarm for understanding better which are all the implications and also of using Celeste in gardens. And also, I, I think that we are not following the agenda, but uh, one of the things that I wanted to check out is uh, the the document on on the that that, that we uh, we have been commenting on on the 
on the channel. And also it will be very cool to have uh, an AMA with TEC on, on, on using Celeste and this, uh, what will be needed from TEC as a covenant and which will be the dynamics. Um, well, I, I guess that I, I could uh, ask uh, Will or somebody from, from the Celeste Swarm. I don't know if, if you would like to do that. Or you, whatever. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I was still on mute. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, I, I guess we should probably set up like a, a cross a swarm, like a garden Celeste swarm call or gardens Celeste TEC call of some sort um, and, and kind of like hash some of these open questions out. Um, uh, maybe we could do a forum thread too uh, on some of these things, maybe after the call, because I, I think uh, that's like discussion that's going to be inclusive for people that can't make the call. Um, but I, I don't want to derail things. I know everybody <laughs> set out their intentions and then um, we kind of got derailed on this. Um, I'm happy to like schedule another call uh, to go over just the like gardens, um, like uh, logistics around conviction voting and bonding groups and stuff, if that's helpful. But uh, I definitely don't want to like derail derail things. Um, um, actually, um, I, I wanted to uh, talk about that because uh, as the uh, as part of the uh, comms plan for the Garden Swarm, uh, we were uh, talking about having an AMA for um, February the fourth. Um, I've been talking to uh, Griff about like some ideas and how we can uh, moderate this and like include different platforms uh, and, and get people from BOSS involved so we can, uh, you know, like uh, uh, cover a range of, of, of different platforms so, like as much as uh, possible and then uh, like come up with a layout uh, for, for having an AMA with uh, uh, Griff as, as moderator. But uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're okay with that, look, maybe uh, you could join in in, in like that uh, live part. And um, well, if, if you the date with uh, February the fourth, um, um, well, yeah, I mean, we would be uh, glad to have you. Yeah, uh, I'm. I don't have any um, any specific plans uh, on the fourth right now, so. Nothing? That. I don't think so. Uh, it's not wow. like a holiday. Um, and How yeah. do you do it? It's <laughs> so cool. Uh, uh, I, I, I helped uh, Chewy pick the fourth because it's the easiest day of just like ridiculous calendar events uh, every <laughs> week. But um, I think the only person who's not present that would be kind of critical would be Will, I'm guessing, on Celeste. Or Luke, do you feel like? I, I think it would be great to have Will there. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, Sam, do you have much going on on the 4th? Um, I think um, just Luna Swarm. Because uh, it would be great to just book. No, it's um, nail. Not Nothing It'd be else. great to nail some times so we can just pass them to Will and he can pick one, and then we call it good, and it's done. I, I will distinguish between the AMA from Garden Swarm that is more about um, what Chewy was uh, working on, and the and the uh, AMA that is more like what Celeste is. Uh, one AMA is more for uh, one hive, the one hive community. And the other one is more for the PC because uh, I I think that it's something that um, people is not understanding yet. We we didn't talk about about it so much. We just published a, a forum post and we talk about it a little bit, but it's very difficult to explain. You <laughs> and, don't think we could combine both of them? Hmm. Cool. 
we could. Um, I I think that we could uh we could uh have like uh like two like hybrid but uh one like each one focused more in 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 its own uh, uh swarm um i actually agree with uh having more content you know to put out there so uh considering like uh the, the way we are organizing the youtube channel uh i think uh actually that two amas would be uh, very uh, beneficial uh uh i think the uh maybe, maybe the fourth could be a, a a good opportunity to uh announce another AMA more like Celeste uh oriented and and yeah i mean and and, and organize it that way as, as Sam is saying with uh one a little bit more focused in in one hive and the other one uh in TEC uh what do you think about that guys sounds good it yeah, it's it's more war, but my I think that it's better. And my uh, my thing is that uh, my worry is that we we need to get uh, people from TC understanding of what Celeste is because it's something that we it, it was not in the initial plan, and it's something that I think that we need to raise awareness of also uh, a public discussion. So as, as a first step, I think that this AMA can be a, a good uh, standpoint in which we, we, can, we can explain what Celeste is and then decide between um, choosing Celeste or not, uh, we uh, we 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 support Celeste, but at the same time, uh, and how, how to say that? Um, we are supporting we are supporting Celeste, um, and and at, at the same time there are uh, cons on not using Celeste. We, we need to expose the pros and cons and let people decide. It's not, it's not something that we can decide as, as Garden Swarm, that people uh, is going to use Celeste. That's, that's my point, that we have to follow the advice process. Yeah. And, and I think that uh, we are not doing that yet. Maybe... Uh, Maybe because we don't. Uh, well, I want to challenge that because we do have the forum, and uh, so the discussion has started. Uh, I think that we could uh, sideline the Celeste discussion because we do have the rest of the agenda to go through. Uh, and I, the only thing I want to make sure to finish this topic with is uh, uh, agree on a couple times that work for me, Luke, Chewy, and Sam uh, for the AMA. And, or even Chewy, I don't know if you need to come, but I would like it to be cool if you could. Uh, and then pass that to Will, like the time, and then done, right? Um, so uh, for me, the hour between the hours before the common sync, TE common sync, are all free. So it's really like, Luke, how early in the morning, because you're on the West Coast, right? Like, w what time works for you? Like yeah, um, 8 a.m. is usually when I like feel totally fine. If it needs to be, or I can get happen, but I'll probably be groggy. <laughs> but yeah, 8 a.m. Uh, is is fine. Okay, what about, and 9 a.m. is even better, right? Oh, I can't do 9 a.m. Okay, how about so either 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. both work for me? Do they work for you, Sam? So that's uh, sorry. We're, so we're talking we, about the fourth, right? February fourth. February fourth. Uh, we we can do uh, five p.m. Let's just go Europe time. Five p.m. Europe time or seven p.m. Europe time for a one hour AMA on Garden Swarm. Uh, is does that this, work? Uh, uh, 
Uh, 5 p.m. UTC? 5 p.m. Uh, Barcelona time. Europe time. Oh. Or 11 a.m. New York time. Yeah. Um, everything on my schedule for the fourth is very flexible. Um, it's like optional calls and a stand-up for the hackathon. So this is the last day before the end of the hackathon. So I'm sure I'll be like a little bit busy, but uh, very flexible in terms of time. Um, so whenever, like, whenever is good for you guys on that day after 8 a.m. is okay by me. Cool. Well, we have to check with Luke. Yeah. Or sorry, with Will. Sorry, Sam. I, I also will know um, how, how Javi is, is going. Um, you, you are so quiet, Javi. And how is your work with the Celeste One? Yeah, oh, man. I was wait, wait. Can I just can I just stop that because I want to get this very clear answer, uh, and then we can uh, then we can derail the conversation. Sam, can you make uh, a five and or seven yes. p.m. make? Uh, I guess it's like eight a.m. or uh, ten a.m. West Coast time. Oh, it's it's my uh, nine a.m. So yeah, it's it's perfect. Okay. So then, uh, I guess Chewy, can you just check in with Will and see if he can he can pick one of those two times, and then it's done. Okay, uh, sorry about that, Fabi. You can go into Celeste. No problem. Uh, well, so last week I started to 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 work on, on the Celeste uh, UI. Um, I mean, I I, I was working in uh, in one screen. I created a new screen from uh, proposals. Uh, today I have to meet with, uh, with Rodrigo and we will be working together. Uh, he will be uh, onboarding me in the process because I just worked on, on UI. Um, so yeah, I think that today uh, starts the, the, uh, the real thing. Um, on the other hand, uh, last week I, I reviewed the, the, the sub PRs for uh, uh, Ryan. Uh, we left some comments on one of uh, the things that he sent. Uh, he will be changing and, and, and resending the, the, the thing again. Um, that's it from my side. Um, it's, um, I didn't get entirely uh, the, the part on, on Celeste. Are you going to need more help from from outside, or is it going to be en enough? Um, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, the 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 first re request that, that I get was uh, to create a new screen for uh, uh, new proposals, uh, but on the UI. Uh, Rodrigo was uh, off last week, and uh, he told me that when he came back. He will be working with me, uh, explaining me the the, uh, the background of Celeste and 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 for and also integrating the screen that I made, I built. Sorry, uh, into uh, other other components that uh, they built. Today, uh, I if if you can ping me when you have the this call with him regarding the the background Celeste and. Because sure. I have not been involved in in this in, in the court, and he was working on the first front end, and I think that it could be super nice to for me to to join. Sure, sure. I'll let you know. Okay. A quick quick um, question on that is is um, Fiore actually well. Uh, I, love I you. didn't hear you. Oh, is Fiore working on the design for that as well? Yes. Uh, we should ask her to dish praise in our garden swarm and figure out if we want to fund her for that. Uh, since it is conviction voting, it feels like uh, it could fall from work. And we could save Celeste a little bit of funds. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know, uh, the design that, that I'm currently using, uh, it was already there. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know. 
I guess we can just say going forward, we should just have her. If she's okay. working on anything conviction voting related, I'll, and I can take that as my own action item. Cool. Okay, uh, well, let's actually go through the agenda topics then. Uh, you wanted to update us on a swarm, uh, Sam? Yes, um, by the way, Paulo is coming in like five minutes or so. And he was in, in, the, in the street. I can, but I, I don't know if Gabi is going to come or not. But um, we have been doing calls, uh, the, the three of us, and basically, basically the calls were more regarding and updating the technologies uh, that we are using to to build um, the the gardens stack and paulo and gabby have been working a lot i think that we could wait just paulo and, and he will explain but um paulo has been working a lot on on fixing some of the hatch front end with the transactions with gabby and they have been updating the the connect to a new version and other stuff. I think that uh, it's not what we it's not what we said the last week that we will be doing. Um, but it was some work that was already uh, going on, and I guess we we didn't want to to stop it. And and then the that that other part on finishing the the hatch and uh, set up the impact towers. What we said is that it's better if we reimplement that that part entirely. It doesn't have sense to uh, finish the the hatch if we are going to redo this part. And um, basically, what we are going to do is is to use the impact towers token instead of loading them as, as mappings. And um, I am taking part of that. Uh, I am taking that part. And I think it's going to be done uh, quick, but I, I'm still working on that. The, um, so Gabi and, and Paulo has been working on finishing some uh, front end stuff. And we have been talking about other things. Um, the, that uh, swarm, uh, new swarm, comes from, comes from the necessity that we have some um, uh, outdated technologies we, with Aragon. We, in, in Garden Swarm, migrated some of the applications to, to build and still have have some problems with new dependencies um, regarding, for example, uh, Aragon client. And um, I think, well, we, we think that it will be interesting to at least have s some degree of ma maintenance on the technologies that are already there. Uh, for instance, in, in XDI, it is a bit um, difficult to, open some some DAOs because there is a problem with one of the modules that are deployed um, one of the APMs that are deployed the Aragon client is is failing into loading the apps uh, uh, without going without going into technical details are the next steps basically to create a proposal to initialize a swarm like is this a forum post and a and the thing yeah basically is we are still um, thinking on which will be the the way to do that um i i am going to be focused on on the garden swarm and and i already told gabby that i i won't be able to, to be focused on anything else but i think that gabby uh, what he's doing is um, trying to understand which are the needs of the different people who is using the technologies of Aragon and and help them. And he's going to be helping us from that um, from, from from that point. 
uh, improving the Aragon technologies based on the needs that Garden Swarm ha has. And, and this is why he's proposing that other swarm. Should we, we could just loop it into Garden Swarm though, right? I think that it's, it's a different thing in the, in the long term. And now we are going to be working together. But, uh, and, and I also ask him, um, will you be able to be doing specific tasks on, on Garden Swarm? And he, and he agrees on do that too. But, um, I know also I, I that to, uh, I don't I want guess, to talk to him. Yeah, I mean, in this context, I also am talking with him about helping uh, with the giveth using the OneHive template. Uh, and he said that he would be able to start working on that in like two weeks, which is also a garden swarm activity, right? It's another gardens, it's just the honey template. So I feel mm -hmm. like. If he's gonna, I don't know if it makes sense for Gabby. I mean, we have to talk to Gabby, obviously, but to start a swarm of just his part-time work, it seems like a, a, a little more than, I don't know. It doesn't seem like, it seems like extra overhead when we could just loop it into uh, our request for funds that should be happening in like a week and a half or two weeks. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about it yet. Really I looked at his proposal in there because there is a forum thread. I think he was talking about trying to get the Aragon Association to like put funding towards maintaining their tools that they've abandoned. Um, but I don't really know the details of that. Um, there's like a forum thread. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think Gabby might have more, more insight there, but the, the thread is linked in the token engineering uh, channel by the agenda. So if anybody's interested. Thanks Luke. I, I think that it's uh, a bit of a misunderstanding because there is a, the, I think that, um, well, <laughs> I I have talked with, with Gabby later. Hello, Pablo. Hi, everyone. I, I have talked with, with Gabby later and, and he says, no, we are not going to ask for, for um, I don't know, association funds is for now. Um, but I think that uh, we mixed up some some of the things with. I think that the the idea is to start building, start um, maintaining the, the the infrastructure that we are already using, and that should be the the focus. Um, by the way, I I don't want to talk up, uh, for Gabi because he is going to be leading this this part and. Um, it's better to ask him, but what I what I see uh, and for what we are going to be collaborating, um, the idea is that um, well he already asked uh, he already he already replied that the, the main in things are going to be uh, developing Aragon Builder, Aragon Connect, and. And, and migrate some critical applications to to maybe Paulo have some more on on that. Yeah, uh, for what I've been talking to Gabi this uh, last week, uh, one of the things that. Uh, um it's uh we we want to make or, or gabby wants uh or wants is to add uh, a couple of changes or improve the connect library for example to make the um, interactions with the apps connector uh, more faster or uh, more efficient so for uh, that was one of the main points that uh, Gabi want, uh, wanted to uh, to do. But but uh, I haven't read the whole uh, thread <laughs> uh, regarding the the um, the proposal for the new swarm. But at least 
when it comes to the connect uh, to the connect part, uh, I think that's what Gabby wa wanted to do. I also uh, want. Uh, oh, yeah, continue. Sorry, I have some lag. Um, the, the idea is not to request uh, funds for now. We, if, uh, we are going to be funding this from the Garden Swarm because uh, Gabby is working on, on gardens. And in, and in the future, um, probably what we are going to do is the, the idea is that we fund the, the Swarm, but it is using the Garden Swarm um, funds until it is independent and asks for funds uh, to one hive. Perfect. Well, if um, you guys don't mind, then uh, I just want to confirm that did we do the honeypot update? I mean, Fabi's complete. Uh, Sunbird Swarm update. Um, you kind of talked about the current state of the code, uh, but maybe we can leave that for after going through the board. Um, yeah. And then also feedback on working together uh, after we just go through the board. Um, so I'll share, does that sound okay? Just, uh, just go through the board and see what we have on the, on the docket this week. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. Well, let's see if we have anything to update. Uh, we can start in the uh, in the well. We can start in the close column. I want to give major props to Ivy and Chewy for getting this manifesto done. And uh, the it, it, I don't think it's actually on the TEC forum yet, but uh, it's that's fantastic work. And was there any other issues that were closed this week that we want to point out? Yes, I wanted to report my uh, latest update on the hatch. Uh, I managed to reduce the the time that that it takes to prompt the MetaMask uh, pop up. So uh, thanks to Gabi, uh, uh, we managed to detect the cause of the issue, and uh, now. It takes a, a second or a second and a half to to prompt the the MetaMask window, and um, uh, I also uh, did the the CSTK token that I commented uh, last week. Right now, I'm uh, arranging the commits to publish uh, two pull requests. Uh, one link to uh, one of those issues. So one, one per issue, I mean. So uh, uh, that um, those issues are, are uh, resolved. Uh, and the issues are the, um, I think. I, I think that the, this issue was not present in the board, right? No, it was, but it was assigned to you. Okay. Uh, the Vercel app? No. Give me a second. Uh, no, that that wasn't because that's about using the tech UI. Okay, so it's in the tech hatch. It's the issue number is. Uh, I think it's the. Uh, Issue number five, the on the tech hatch repo, the one that says the time between approve and state. Oh, yeah. takes one. Mm. Great. Okay, so this is closed. Yeah, um, I, I I want to close uh, myself to to link it to the pull request. Okay, I'll put it in um, review. And also the one with the CSTK token, it's also closed, but I can do it myself. And yeah, uh, I, I talked to Gabi, and we can even make the request to the connector even faster. 
Gabby has to publish a pull request that he has been working on uh, where we can pass the connector like the transaction path. So the connector doesn't need to clear it in, uh, itself. So uh, is this a new issue? Uh, yeah, it's an issue that uh, uh, that uh, I want to create. But uh, I'm waiting for uh, Gabby to m uh, make the changes on the connect library. OK, well, it's, I'll just. It's an, uh, it's an optimization. OK, well, I'll just put it in product backlog and make a very simple issue and assign you polos so that we can track it and uh, we don't forget about it, you know? OK. And uh, of course, feel mm -hmm. free to edit it and make it better. Uh, great work. Thank you for attacking those things. Uh, any other issues that got closed or are in or are basically closed? Uh, I'm working on I the. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. And then I can. Um, um, uh, I assign myself another issue, the one uh, related to MetaMask. Uh, Oh, the one, uh, the issue number four, the one that it says that now we need to refresh the uh, the page ourselves because MetaMask won't do it anymore. So mm -hmm. that issue, I think, for tomorrow is uh, also resolved. This is done. It's or it will be. It's, uh, it's I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, I, I want to publish the post the poll request, and then I'm I'm gonna continue to work on on that issue tonight. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Cool. Uh, any uh, Sam? Did you have any issues you want to talk about uh, that that are yeah. especially closed? Um, well, actually, open new ones. Um, with Fiore, we we worked on uh, maybe it's it's not open new ones. They are already there, but um, with Fiore, we work on on the design of some of the different things. It's most. Um, regarding the, the the different warnings on um, if if we have a CSTK or not, <laughs> and I mean the modifications to the hatch frontend uh, that will inform the user about the oracle, the import towers, the the tribute, and all of these things, and we probably. Yeah, we'll need to. Uh, they are going to be ready to implement uh, this week. Um, and I was wondering if uh, you, you, Fabi, or or you, Paulo, could uh, take them. Any, any of you, and if not, I, I could take them. Can you say what is, issue numbers these are? I think that um, you moved one of those, uh, which is um, CSTK. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have CSDK, for example, this one. Yeah. Paulo said that he was already working on this, right? Yeah, th that issue is already resolved. Right. Um, then there is the uh, cultural tribute. But I don't know if it's in one of the issues. Exactly, one. Creation of text for cultural tribute and hatch tribute. Mm -hmm. I can take that. Uh, who you, is that? Fabi. It's Fabi. Fabi. Thank you. Sorry. I... Then the indicator on the, um, um, the, the percentage indicator on how much funds we, we did get. It is broken because it, it was not adapted um, to have more than 100%. And, and we have also changed that in order to that you have a, a minimum amount that you can request. 
and then the optimal amount or, or something like that. So that indicator must be changed. And I'm not sure, ah, here it is. So the circle graph when over yes. 100%? This is already designed. So um, if, if one of you wants to take that, if not, I can I can go with it. I, ca ah. I can take that issue. If, if oh, first come, to... first serve. Uh, <laughs> no, that <laughs> was it, uh, Paolo. No, it, oh, it, it, it was Paolo. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a question on this. Uh, was a Fiori a great uh, something different, like with three different bars, or? Right now, it is more like um, she has been doing different approximations. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's important because um, <laughs> your question is quite relevant. The last approximation is the page that it says hatch. <laughs> because there are all the different uh, options are there, but the the good one is the one that is in uh, in caps. Let's see if it opens. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna find where was that percent? I want to link that. Sorry, sorry, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I swear. <laughs> Let's see, it's not this one, right? It is yes, enable it's, account? It's no. this one, the, yeah. That, that first, that, that's the page. As you can see, the the page hatch, because there, then there is page one, page two, and page four. Um if you go to the one in the bottom, you will see that it it marks where the minimum is and and then one hundred percent is the is the the goal. I I don't know, but uh, she tried putting there uh, mm, a wording with minimum, and it didn't look uh, very well. So th this is the only part that is a bit that we are looking for feedback, and she was going to ask to Gabby and Rodri. Um, so maybe she's going to change that part. We, she was quite sure that um, this is more or less going to be the the end result. Maybe that the only thing that changes is. What do you think? I, I think that we have. I, I really think that we've gone done a lot of soul searching on this, and I think it's a fine solution. Remember, it just has to be good enough. And if people have an issue with it, we can make issues before the final launch, and we can get user feedback. But uh, I don't think we'll end up with a good solution uh, or the best solution until we have people complain about it. So uh, <laughs> uh, we'll just have to, I, I say we go with it and, and, uh, and just like say, okay, good enough. And, uh, and then, you know, deploy it and build it and play, use it, see how it changes, you know, like as, the, as people, it, when we do the next test hatch, and then you know we can we can say hey Jess how do you think this should be better now that you've done it oh hey you know uh, different community stewards uh, please complain about our this one small feature on this entire page right so well I th I think that now is is a better moment before we implement it because once we we have implemented it probably we will go with it um, because. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess I guess what I would say on, on on my opinion on it is that I think it's really perfect and it it goes in line with what we're doing with YGG, where we basically say, hey, 
uh, whoever is designing this pick a goal what is our actual goal and what is the minimum goal and uh, it might be missing the max but i don't think we necessarily need the max un unless the max is less than the c stack cap so that's the only comment i would say here is is there a max if there is then we would need to add it mm. but otherwise I, I actually really like this dot I, I like this little triangle there. I feel like that's enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. So this is um, th this is ready to learn. I, I, I will ask I will ask her if if she had some some other feedback because she was on um, asking Gabby. <laughs> Actually, it's the Hatch page. It's um, called. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I get you now. At least I I clicked this thing and it popped up and. Okay, okay, it's it's fine. Okay, okay, cool. Um, I guess the other things. I hate to go long, um, but I think we're going to go a little long. I would love to hear any updates on the TEC UI library. This looks like there's a pull request here. Is this blocking somebody? Um, no, uh, I released it. Uh, I need to send the, the, the MBM baggage. The library is, uh, is working now. Um, uh, I need to check some small thing with Fiore, but the library is, is ready to go. Okay, so is this something that uh, you'll be able to take on this week to, to close it out? Yeah, for sure. Boom. That's right. Okay. Um, and then I, uh, uh, I, what, what about, two, have you got, oh, go ahead, Sam. Yeah, my, my two things this week are going to be um, finishing the, the Impact Hours um, contract. The, with that new update, so um, hopefully, and it has the tests, <laughs> uh, so we can is consider there, it finished. I made this very quick issue. Is there another one, or no? That's that's okay. Okay, cool. And um, yeah, that that should include the tests. And um, and the thing is that once this is done. Uh, and the, the, the only thing that we need to, to fi fi finish the freeze um, or the hatch part is, is that and, and the, 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 the rest of the documentation. Um, I, I still didn't talk with Adria, but I, I am um, sending now to the now um, to the call the, the document that we have. And to him, we will uh, be handling you the rest of the things during the rest of the uh, rest of the month. Cool. I'm just going to update the spec to use the form because I believe this is now the um, the actual like most updated. Uh, Most updated spec will probably just be maintaining the forum. Which, by the way, Sam, amazing work with the permissions and this this specification. I don't know if Luke is still here, but uh, uh, if so, Luke, uh, I would definitely check out this uh, specification for dandelion DAOs and make sure that anyone who uh, who makes a dandelion DAO, this is really nice. Just to fork and. Um, utilize for their purposes. I know there's not that in DAOs, uh, better not to have to repeat the work. But definitely. It, it was uh, following the, the advice of Gabby. And he 
he told me to use Aragraph, which was based on we did this part with with Aragraph. And yeah, I think that it's a good start for for Adria to understand which is the the which will be the state of the DAO. I guess a, a quick question I had on this. Uh, I guess two questions. Number one, is this a style for these boxes? <laughs> it can be. <laughs> uh, that, that, I mean, I'm cool with the style. I think it's kind of fun. Uh, it, it gives a little. Uh, it kind of looks like a kid drew the boxes or something, but I, I actually love it. Um, the other thing is this uh, Redemptions. It seems like the Redemptions app is also connected to Agent 2, right? Or Agent 1, one of the others. And I don't know if there just needs to be a line there. It's weird. It should be connected just to Agent 1, right? Which is the reserve. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's just missing that line right here to agent one, and then. Ah, okay. Yeah, you you are saying that it needs a permission, but not the redemptions does doesn't have permission on. Well, the redemptions should have permissions on agent one. I hope because the redemptions will allow any account with C stack tokens. <laughs> No, I, I think that it's not a permission. I will check it oh, later. Okay. But I think that it doesn't work with permissions. Well, yeah, it's it's just interesting it, that it is configured. I think oh, that yeah. it the um, when you initialize a redemption app, you specify which agent or which bolt you are going to use, and this is why yeah, it doesn't have. The redemptions app has to have the transfer permission on the agent, otherwise it can't take tokens from the agent. Okay. Maybe that was missing then. Okay, I would check that definitely. Yeah, I mean we never really got to test it in the deployment. So uh you know it's some uh, yeah. But that's it would be it would be really nice to have the test hat deployment just to find some of these things too. Yeah. But well, I think it's okay that we we can uh, push that back for a later moment. Um, but yeah, uh, I still really love this uh, this graph. I think it it's a very nice graphical representation. Um, and then there's also the uh, oh, where to go. Uh, just this box, all these boxes. Um, as Luke is saying, I think the agent, the redemption app probably needs some permissions on here that it doesn't have. Like it looks like yeah, it's, it's yeah. the agent. Yeah, exactly. Redemption should, should have. No, no, no. The, the agent one should be able to. I mean, as it is in the in this table, uh, the, um, the permissions um, it, it should be agent one uh, dot uh, transfer should be in redemptions. It's a it's a permission that is missing in agent one. But uh, I will be yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, well, that's great. If these two are the only blockers for um, for hatch freeze, it would be really amazing if we could uh, uh, get the hatch free. I mean, do we need to deploy it, the hatch DAO successfully before we can say that we can make a freeze? Yes. <laughs> yes, but... Uh, I think that we don't have to do it with the community. Okay, cool. 
mean tested in with with ourselves i will distinguish between the tests and the demos and we already have been demos and we don't have anything else to show that is new unfortunately the some of the demos did fail but um now it's better to do just tests without involving the community okay the thing is that uh, the, the problem that i see with with this um setup we we, we already should uh, close because we are uh, more than on top of the over but there are no integration tests and i don't know if if some of you maybe look do you know if there is some way to do integration tests or or something uh, in for example uh, we did miss that um, we could not redeem um you could write tests i suppose um i've done qa scenarios for when we've launched templates before um just kind of like you you have all of the flows and you make sure the flows work as expected um but uh, i suppose you could write integration tests okay so tests on the template Yeah, just sort of run through QA scenarios. There isn't like a template for that. It's just sort of like you have a certain set of flows that you know, like you've got to redeem, you've got to be able to vote, you've got to be able to like transfer tokens, like they're kind of all listed. You just want to make sure that everything that you expect it to do, it does. It does. OK. The, the yeah, problem that we are having now. I just want to say, Sam, this is kind of the benefit of throwing it at the community and discovering it's basically the QA step, right? We deploy it, and then we show them how to use it, and then, you know, 5% of the people sure. actually want it, are interested in playing with it, and then they try to do all the flows, and they're like, why isn't this working? And that's kind <laughs> of our, that's like our QA, like, okay, yeah. could we do the commons upgrade or not? It's, I mean... It's not as come. It's not as, as integration tests could be, but at least it's something. Mm. I think that um, in order to be sure, uh, it's better that um, we 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 are exhaustive and and maybe uh, th throwing it to the community can community can do the may not be doing all the cases that might be, you know, I don't know how to say that. Um, this is why also we also have Adria that is going to be checking that everything works uh, very well. I don't know. Uh, I, I will not involve the, the community in a, in a demo. Uh, for for this week, for example. That's, yeah, that's I, totally your call. Um, but I, I will be um, trying to do these integration tests. Um, I still have some some issues with that because the applications are. They are different applications, and uh, we don't have them on de deployed on on local. And I still don't know how to do them. I think that I will ask Gabby, and and maybe uh, we can do that together. But I don't promise to have this uh, this week, and maybe we have to do the code freeze with, without that integration tests. But at least uh, deploy it and and try that everything works. It's not the best um, case, but 
Well, I, I don't know. I, I will ask Gabi if, if, he ha, if he has some, um, some better ways to do that. Probably a horrible comment, but it's quick and quick and dirty. Um, okay, the only <laughs> other thing is the the Gabby uh, the Gabby issue of doing the one smart contract for. Um, I, I think this is the other blocker for uh, the hatch upgrade. Just making sure that this actually works. I am checking it out. Ah, yes, yes, completely. So, uh, I mean, the, these are the these are the big ones that um, uh, I guess I'll that I would love to see. It's, uh, and maybe I'll just move them all in the sprint in progress because they're so important. Uh, this one, um, missing integration tests, update the impact hours, uh, and the documentation. Oops. Uh, this is all on your plate, Sam. Is there anything that you could think you can pass off to somebody? Uh, I am already working on not only this, but um, I, I am also I also need to finish the, the documentation on on what we have been doing on on Garden Swarm, which is important that is finished uh, sooner than later. I think that it's I will be prioritizing one thing after the other and. I I don't know. I think that this, uh, as I said, this part on integration, integrating tests will I will need a lot of help from from Gabi. And and even the impact hours tests. I don't know. Um, I, I will I will ask Gabi if if he can help. Um. And what about Paulo? Um, is there a place where Paulo can help? What do you think, Paulo? Would you like to to help me with some of them? Yeah, uh, I can help you, but uh, I definitely need uh, your help too on um, on these issues. Mm. Uh, Maybe what we can do is to work on them together. By the um, way, Gabby is here, so. Hey, I just showed Hey, Abby. Hey, hey, guys. Well, we got we got a mountain of questions for you. Uh, where do we start, Sam? Um, well, actually, Gabby, could we? Well, I don't know. <laughs> the I think that one of the most important questions. Um, we are having some issues. Uh, testing uh, many apps at the same time, and we just fig figured out that in the template, the Redemptions app doesn't have the permission to transfer um, tokens from an agent. Um, yep. It was something that it was very difficult to test because if you don't test it in from the template perspective, from an integration test, uh, you don't see that. And I don't know if you have had some experience with testing smart contracts uh, with multiple add-on applications, or if we could uh, do that in, in some, you know, if, if you could, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think my advice on that regards is trying to do a, a 
o sea, an update to the, to the app, for example, the Redemption app, to use the Builder uh, plugin to, and then relies on the scripts to uh, set up the whole uh, template that we want to test. And then we will have all the configuration we want. Uh, I think that will be the most uh, reliable thing. So we can have a repo that is getting the application from XDI. Yeah. Do a test. And could you help me with that? Because I I have uh, I am already taking a, a lot of of things this week. I I don't know how you have your week. Yeah, I can I can help on that for sure. This will be was, the most uh, thing. Okay, I can prioritize that. I was also uh, working on, on the hackathon, but but yeah, I, I will definitely prioritize that and 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 work with you on that. The idea was to finish the um, the code freeze last last week, and we are still very um, below the schedule. Um, and that's something that we need to have at least in order to. I mean, <laughs> depending on on how you see that, but um, if, the more clean the code and the more documented things are and more tested things are. It will be better for the for the auditor. So okay. thank you so much for for it. And um, I think that we got the the call already. And because more, more or less we everybody everybody has the the issues. And okay. I, I guess just a quick uh, uh, update, Gabby, on the on the smart contract one call thing. Did you are you uh, do you have any questions on that or uh, what's the progress? Yeah, actually we discussed this with with Sam a bit, and now I have more more context of what we need to do. And um, and yeah, uh, that's uh, the next thing is to prepare the the script. But but yeah, uh, I think now is. Uh, more clear what what the whole uh, migration entails. Okay, that great. Note, I mean, okay, cool. So, in, in the in progress column, that is blocking us freezing the the hatch. It would be. I know that there's a lot of other things, um, and like obviously, people, you guys can definitely work on those other things. But it would be pretty amazing if we could try to prioritize some of these things because this is a major milestone for uh, for the Garden Swarm and will allow us to move on. You know, uh, so once we get this stuff out of the way, we can get back to uh, get back to the, the a lot of the other things. But obviously, uh, just uh, I guess the big request is if you guys can prioritize these issues in the in progress here, then we'll uh, then we'll be able to pass this to Adria. And he can work on on the audit while we do the other things. Cool guys, uh, thank you for staying late. Oh, sorry, Gabby, did you have something? No, I was going to say that thanks for the meeting. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys for staying late. Uh, we're twenty minutes over. I uh, really appreciate your time, uh, and thanks everyone for coming. Uh, see you guys next week.